name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. It's lovely to be with you tonight on this day when we celebrate the Feast of the Epiphany. Actually, the Feast of the Epiphany uh, actually happens on uh, January 6th of every year. Uh, we move that uh, observance around a little bit to suit our calendar. It is the feast day that marks the closing of the Christmas season, the 12 days of Christmas. And uh, it is, um, and it runs, Epiphany is like Christmas in a way, uh, in that uh, like Christmas is both a day and a season, Epiphany is also a day today, as we observe it, and also a season. So this, that season that we're heading into is not something that's just for tonight. Epiphany will go, we will be in this season until uh, Ash Wednesday. So it is that time on our calendar between Christmas and Lent. And it is really a gift to us if we would give ourselves to it. And I'll come to the reason for that in just a minute. This... Um, story that we have today is always the opening story. The, the story of the wise men uh, from Matthew's gospel is always the opening story of this season. It's always the, the story that we go to on this feast day because it is the first epiphany after the birth of Jesus. Epiphany is the Greek word that means a manifestation or a showing forth. Um, and how we understand that in our, uh, in our faith is that these epiphanies are, or an epiphany is God showing God's self to us uh, in, in, in some way in the person of Jesus Christ. And so each today and then each of the Sundays, this year we have six, I think, if I counted correctly, six Sundays together in this season of course, because Epiphany is uh, uh, gauged by where Ash Wednesday is and Ash Wednesday by Easter, and Easter moves every year, the season of Epiphany is sometimes short and sometimes longer. This year, six Sundays. Each of these Sundays that we'll spend together over the next six weeks, the gospel lesson will give us another Epiphany, another story where we see God revealing himself in the person of Jesus Christ in a unique way. Today's is the first. And there is, on, in many of these uh, epiphanies, well, I shouldn't say many, in, in several of them, there is a proclamation or something in the gospel story that lets us know what the epiphany is, what we're supposed to, what God is trying to show us about the character of Jesus. And today, it is at least in part what the Magi asked uh, to King Herod, where is the one born, the child born, king of the Jews? So that is, uh, in part, one of the manifestations of Jesus uh, for tonight. And it is significant, I think, that the star is in the sky, shining the light as our hymns, as we sang in our hymns, shining the way to find God in the flesh, in this baby. It's important because this season is about light. Because every time God shows himself to us, almost every time in scripture, there is a sense, if not a, 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 a physical light, but a sense of God's light shining in a dark world. So I made, I went through and um, made a list of, I read all of the gospel lessons for this season of Epiphany, and not just this year. I went back three years, and I went forward one year, and I wrote down and made a list of all of the different epiphanies in all of those lessons, and I thought I would come in and share them with you uh, and uh, so that you could be ready when they come. But then as I was walking to church this morning at the early service, I thought... <coughs> And I'll just give you an example. Next, this Sunday coming up 
is the feast of the baptism of our Lord. It's in this season of Epiphany, so we get to learn something. God shows himself to us this Sunday in the gospel lesson. You remember that scene in the Jordan River when Jesus shows up to be baptized and John the Baptist says, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. That's an important part of what is being manifest for us, that Jesus is the Lamb of God. And then at the end of the lesson will be, I don't know who's preaching this Sunday, maybe I'm stealing somebody's thunder. Uh, <coughs> yeah, <laughs> all right, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, at the end of the lesson, the voice comes from heaven and says, this is my son in whom I'm well pleased. That's the epiphany for this Sunday coming up. It's for us to then pray into and meditate on what it means for God to be for us the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world and for Jesus to be the Son of God as well and what that might mean. So what I had planned to do is just go down the list and tell you gospel lesson by gospel lesson what the epiphanies are. But I had my own epiphany. Uh, something happened on the way to church this morning. And I thought instead of me just unpacking all of that for you, unless I'm uh, on a bit of a time constraint tonight. And those of you who know me know I like to, well, go on and on. <coughs> I thought it would be more important for you, for me just to invite you into this epiphany journey. To invite you to come to church over these Sundays of this season, hear the lessons, and to search for the light, the manifestation, the showing forth in these gospel lessons, not just for the sake of, of Bible study, but to put our hearts in the right place, to put your heart in the right place, because this season is really a gift to us, and not all Christians observe it. I don't think Roman Catholics observe it. I know uh, um, there are some other Protestants, uh, 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 Lutherans and Methodists, I think do. I'm not positive about that. But for us, we have it, and it's a gift. And it says to us that this time after Christmas ends, before Lent begins, we're not just supposed to be marking time. We've received the gift of the Christ child. The light has come into the world, as John's Gospel has said. And now the church gives us the gift of this season to be after that light to be out in the world looking and expecting, looking for God to be made manifest to us in the faces of our loved ones, in the faces of strangers, in unexpected places. This is a time for us to observe intentionally, to go out and to look for those epiphanies. Come to church on Sunday, hear the lessons read, tease out what those manifestations and epiphanies are in those Bible lessons, but then take that out into the world and expect in this season of light, expect and ask for God to shine the light in your life and to make himself made known and present to you in new and exciting ways. Amen.